Okay, so I had a request for C12, June 2016, IAL. Um, question number 16. Figure 6 shows a sketch of a part of the curve C with equation given by y equals x times, in brackets, x minus 1, in brackets, x minus 2. The point P lies on the on C and has x coordinates a half. Okay, so we know that the x coordinate of this point P is a half. A half, and we don't know what the y coordinate is, right? And the line L, as shown on the graph, is a tangent to the C at the point P. So this is a tangent to the curve um, at the point P. So just push it past the curve there. It has the same gradient as the curve at that point. Okay, and continues on. Find dy dx. So we've got to find dy dx, which is a gradient function for this curve. Okay, we've got to find dy dx, which is a gradient function for this curve. In order to find dy dx, we need to first rewrite this in a form that can be um, factorized or differentiated easily. So we'll expand the brackets and write them as separate terms. So x minus 1 times x minus 2, you'll have x times x, which is x squared. And then x times minus 2, which is minus 2x plus minus x, minus 2x, minus x is minus 3x, and minus 1 times minus 2, which is plus 2. And then you can multiply the x with everything. You have x cubed um, minus minus 3x squared plus 2x. Okay, so this is the, the uh, form now I can differentiate. So I say dy dx is equal to x cubed. If you differentiate, you can be multiply the power and take one from the power. So that gives you 3x squared. And you've got minus you got 2 times 3, which is minus 2 times minus 3, minus 6 times x to the power of 1. Don't need to write the 1 there. And plus 2, well, you're just left with 2 because 2x, two when you differentiate, becomes 2. This is like x to the power of 1. 1 times 2 is 2, and then x to the power of 0 is 1, so you end up with 2 as your answer. Okay, so that is dy dx. That's part A. Pretty simple. Um, okay, answering part A. Just find dy dx. Now part B is what we're going to do, we're going to use what we've just found. It says use part A to find an equation for the line L in the form ax plus by equals c where a, b and c are integers. Okay, so we need to find an equation for L in the form ax plus by equals c. Now, L is a straight line. L is a straight line. Okay, and to find the equation of a straight line, we need to know two things. We need to know one of the things we need to know is the gradient of the line. Okay, so one thing we need to know is the gradient of the line. And the second thing to, we need to know is any point on the line. Any point on the line. Okay. Now, both of these things we can find using what we've just worked out. So we know that, that at P, x is equal to a half. They told us that in the question. It says the point P lies on C and has x coordinate a half. So I can use that to find the gradient because dy dx is the gradient function. Okay, dy dx is the gradient function. Right? So you can put x equals a half into this formula. So you have 3 and you have a half squared minus 6 times a half plus 2. That gives you 3 times a quarter minus 3 plus 2, which is, um, that's 3 quarters minus 1, okay? 3 quarters minus 1, okay, is going to give you negative a quarter, okay? We can just confirm that we haven't made a silly mistake by using our calculator, okay? We can just do 3 times. Um, brackets, you've got half, 1 divided by 2, you can square that, minus, minus 6 times a half, which we know is 3 anyway, but just to show you, <clears throat> and then plus 2. That gives you negative a quarter, as we found, okay? So that's just to show that we've got the right answer. Now, 
that's for the gradient. Okay, we found the gradient. So the gradient of the line is negative a quarter. Okay, it's a it's a tangent. A tangent has the same gradient as the curve at the point. Okay, so the gradient function, the the um, the dy dx, the differential, is the gradient function. It tells us the gradient of that function at any point that we want. We wanted that when x equals a half. To find a point on the line, well, again, we know p, the point, the x value is a half. We need to find the y value. So we can go back to our original equation, the way they gave it. We've got x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, so the original form of the equation was x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. And if you substitute a half instead of x, you've got a half times, well, a half minus 1 is minus a half, and a half minus 2 is minus 3 over 2. Okay? So we end up with a half. So we end up with positive. So you're going to have 3 over 8. It's a negative times negative positive. The, denom the numerator is multiplied to give you 3. The denominator is multiplied to give you 8. So the point P has coordinates a half and three eighths. Okay, now we're asked to find the equation of the line in the form y equals, or ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. When they ask you something in this form, okay, there are two methods as we learned already to find the equation of the straight line. One is using y equals mx plus c, and the other one is using y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, now if Whenever they ask us to find an equation in this form, where a, b, and c are integers, okay, um, and we, especially when we've got fractions to deal with in terms of the gradient and in terms of the points that we're given, then I suggest you use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It just makes everything easier for you to manipulate, that's all. So now, remember, x1 and y1 are the points that we know on the line. And m is, of course, the gradient. So we just substitute those instead of y1, x1, and m. So we got y minus y1, which is 3 eighths, equals m, which is negative a quarter, times x minus x1, which is a half. OK, so if we just start by um, multiplying, let's multiply everything by 8. Multiply both sides of the equation by 8, that will get rid of the fractions in these parts. Okay, so you're going to have 8y minus 3 equals minus 2 times x minus a half. Okay, I've multiplied both sides by 8. So I have 8y minus 3 equals minus 2x, and that will give me plus 1. So remember, you want it in the form ax plus by equals a constant. You want it in this form. So let me now add 2x to both sides and add 3 to both sides. So I'll get 2x plus 8y is equal to, and I want to add 3 to both sides, so I'll end up with 4 here. Okay, 1 plus 3 is 4. And in its simplest form, this is not in simplest form, we can divide everything by 2. All of these are divisible by 2. So we end up with x plus um, 4y is equal to 2. And there we have our equation of our straight line, which um, is in the form required, which is a tangent, which has the same gradient of the, of the curve at the point P. Okay, so I hope that was clear. And now we'll go on to the next part of the question in the next video. Thank you for watching.